hi to all a busy sunday vlog with quick and easy to do recipes daily cleaning routine and pot painting last sunday my husband had left early in the morning for a program so the whole day i kept myself busy was not in a mood to go back to sleep usually on sunday again after namaz we sleep and wake up when my maid comes today thought of completing all the pending work as i am busy during the weekdays storing the coriander leaf curry leaf and green chili for the whole week i washed all these and kept it for draining after having tea with the skate started painting the pot gave a coat of white paint and allowed it to dry until it dries back in the kitchen placing all the washed and cleaned item in the box always place tissue papers at the bottom so that it doesn't get decayed For the breakfast, I am preparing spicy hash browns. For this, I have taken three potato and half onion. Grate the potatoes. Squeeze and remove the excess water. Chop half onion and add to it. Chop some coriander leaves and add to it. Add half teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, one egg. Salt to taste. Kashmiri chilli powder, turmeric powder, jeera powder, garam masala powder, a pinch of hing, three teaspoon of corn flour. Now mix well. Add a tablespoon of maida and mix again. Heat a pan. Add two to three teaspoon of oil. Spread the hash brown batter into box shapes. When one side is done, flip and fry again. Fry this until it's crispy and light brown in color.
continue with rest of the batter until it gets ready i am making a apple shake for this remove the skin of the apple cut into cubes and add it to the jar add enough sugar milk 1 teaspoon of bone vita and ice cubes now blend and pour it into the glass my son was still sleeping so i had my breakfast alone after breakfast started the cleaning work I dust the furniture daily to avoid allergies. It's just a 2 to 3 minutes of work. A deep cleaning will be done whenever I'm free or depends on my mood. My son is the class prefect of the month. He has kept it here. so that he remembers to wear it daily morning now the pot is getting dried had washed the cloths a day before it takes at least 2 days to dry during this season By then my son woke up and having his breakfast. I do the drain cleaning of the dishwasher on Sunday. There won't be much dirt as I rinse my dishes before washing. I have cleaned the drainer. Now placing it back. So yesterday night I had not put the vessels for wash. So putting all the vessels for wash today. giving a second coat of white paint until it dries i'll be cooking my lunch so for lunch i had prepared methi roti and a chutney my son doesn't eat rice so whenever my husband is out i cook whatever my son prefers 
again continued with the painting had lunch in between and again continued the painting it was not as easy i thought but how and all managed to complete the work had an old mud plate painted it too in the evening had a traditional kerala pappadam payam that's banana and papad both my son and mine all time favorite late in the evening back to the kitchen again preparing sheik kebab roll for the kebab mince the meat i had cleaned and drained the meat completely to avoid moisture now add this meat to the mincer and grind I have kept half of the minced meat aside. I'll be using it on some other day. Now to this meat add 1 tablespoon of kashmiri chili powder. salt to taste 
quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, quarter teaspoon of coriander powder, quarter teaspoon of jeera powder, quarter teaspoon of garam masala powder, a pinch of hing, vinegar, one teaspoon. little kasuri methi quarter teaspoon of pepper powder and one whole teaspoon of ginger garlic paste few coriander leaves add 2 teaspoon of corn flour now again grind in the mincer Now the mince batter is ready. Now if you are using the sheikh kebab to roast on charcoal, skewer it in a skewer. And tawa frying the sheikh So take a straw and make the sheath. Remove it slowly and keep aside. Now the sheikhs are ready. Add oil to a tawa and fry the sheikh. When one side is done, flip and fry it on the other side too. It takes around 6 to 7 minutes on medium heat to fry these sheets. For the frankies, I am using 1 cup of wheat atta, 1 cup of maida, add salt and knead with lukewarm water. This will make the frankies soft. Now the sheik is ready. Remove and transfer it to a plate. Continue with rest of the sheik. For a veggie sauce. I am chopping cabbage, capsicum, green chilli, onion, carrot, cucumber and tomato in a manual chopper. Add this to a bowl. Cut some coriander leaves into small pieces. Now add mayonnaise, salt to taste, chili powder, and thick curds. Mix well and keep aside. 
Now knead the Frankie dough again. Roll and fry in a tawa. When you are ready to eat, place the sheikh kebab on the center of the frankie, spread the veggie sauce, roll and serve. Preparing jeera tea for husband and me, heat a tea pan, add 1 teaspoon of jeera and roast till it turns black in color. When it turns black in color, add 1 cup of water. Add some sugar. When it comes to a boil, add 1 cup of milk and boil again. Now the tea is also ready. Thanks for watching today's video. Please do not forget to like and comment. We'll be back soon. Until then, bye and take care.